Ladies and germs, welcome to Morris Custom Bicycles. I haven't posted in a little while, and so I kind of feel bad about that. But I, I do have some projects coming up, and uh, I'll be I'll be putting some content uh, on the channel here soon. Um, but I just wanted to say a couple of things here, just in, in this short little video, uh, and that is, <clears throat> uh, I happen to be uh, just surfing YouTube. And I came across um, a video done by Phil Gaiman. Um, he's uh, also known as the the, the Cookie Man. Um, but Phil, uh, he kind of has an interesting channel. I, I don't follow him, uh, so I, I don't know everything about him, and I you know, so I don't know what the latest thing is with him. But uh, occasionally, I see, I watch a couple of his videos, and, it, and it's pretty good. Um, but what he had to say in his last uh, little rant here, uh, I thought was was really well done, and that is, um, uh, you know, and I'm going to try to parrot him somewhat here, but the gist of it was that sometimes cyclists are we we're our own worst enemy. Um, so as we know right now, uh, the bike business is doing well. Um, bike shops are selling bikes like crazy, and and it's it's good to be in the bike business right now. Uh, I I think it's gonna crash probably here. I don't know, end of summer maybe. Uh, it'll probably take a hard crash, and I think you know, bike business bike business is going to uh, decline uh, quite a bit. I think once uh, the country gets kind of more opened up in earnest. But but having said that. Um, there's a lot of new riders out there and there are a lot of people giving the cycling thing a go. You know, they uh, figured out that, you know, bikes are maybe a good way to get around. Um, and, uh, also people are, you know, wanting some exercise, you know, in between being in quarantine. So, um, bikes, bikes are a natural thing, I think, for people to, to want to do. And so, we need to encourage people to continue to be into bicycles even after this COVID thing is over with. Um, the problem is that there are cyclists out there that make that very difficult. Um, I myself like the sport of cycling. Many of my customers um, race and they come and see me because I'm getting their bike dialed in for the next race. And I help them go fast, and and it's an exciting thing to be a part of. Within that contingent of riders, there are also <clears throat> a lot of uh, how would you say uh, snobs, maybe is the the politest way to put it. And these snobs are very critical, and they make it difficult for people to uh, be a cyclist. I think the other thing that cyclists, and as all of us, need to realize is that not everybody is going to be the the leg shaved, uh, weight weenie, ten thousand dollar bike guy. Uh, you know that might be the end result for some of these people coming in into cycling, but that's not where everybody's going to be, and. We should encourage people to be on bikes no matter what they want to do or where they want to go. Some people just want a bike to go tour their community. Other people want to maybe get into some bike packing or bike touring. Other people are just um, wanting to improve their fitness. And some people will make that step into maybe more competitive um you know, areas of cycling, whether that's mountain biking or road or, or whatever. And that's fine, but that shouldn't be the end result or the expected end result for everybody getting into bikes. And this is where I have a problem with some of the, the snobby road cyclists, uh, where if you uh, show up to a ride and you don't have the latest and greatest carbon whatever, or you're... Uh, your ca casket's not the right color, or your socks don't match your uh, your wheels, or whatever it is out there. Um, that type of attitude just hurts cycling. And, you know, maybe we have a chance 
here to turn some things around and allow people just to be whatever kind of cyclist they want. Well, we should be breaking the rules with this. We should be allowing people to be a uh, weekend warrior uh, around the neighborhood with my kids cyclist. We should be um, celebrating people who decide to maybe commute to work a few days a week. That kind of cycle should be celebrated. Um, we shouldn't expect everybody to make that climb into $10,000 full carbon race bike. Um, not everybody wants to be a competitor and we shouldn't expect people who are coming into bike shops and giving cycling uh, a try uh, to be on that road. We should just let people be whatever cyclists they want to be and just go, you know what? They're, they're out of their cars. They're, uh, they're getting some exercise. They're riding. It's good for everybody. So don't be that snobby guy and make it difficult for people. We need to be super friendly and super accepting and uh, have everybody just give cycling an earnest try and encourage them to stick with it. Even after this bike boom, comes down, which it, it will. It's gonna come down and crash. And um, so we want to keep as many of those people on the road as we can. So something to think about. I thought Phil's video was was uh, was re really well made and, and, uh, and it's nice to see someone of his caliber um, saying this kind of stuff because generally it's people that are in Phil's shoe shoes um, um, that are part of the problem. <laughs> and then I'm not digging on Phil or, or anybody like that, but Phil is an ex-pro who's retired and so he spends his retired uh, time going and, and just murdering people on Strava and uh, you know getting all these KOMs and, and that's kind of what he does. And if, and if I was Phil, I would do the same thing. Um, because obviously, you know, to be a professional cyclist, you got to be a freak of nature fast and crazy VO2. And, you know, you're able to put out an extraordinary amount of watts uh, and do that for long periods of time. And there's not a lot of these type of people on planet Earth. But uh, it's the amateurs that want to be like Phil that tend to be problematic. Uh, for people just being cyclists. And so, uh, anyway, check out his video. It's kind of interesting. Um, I'll be back with more content here soon. Uh, until then, everybody be safe. And uh, if you like this kind of crap, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll be talking to you later.